Hey YouTube, it is Nina here, you are watching Fairy Chamber channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint Northern Lights with watercolors. So first thing I'm going to do is I will have a jar of clear water and I'm going to paint the whole paper with water, just water. And I have this brush that is quite, quite thick. Just water, water, water. Uh, I'm from Finland. If uh, you are new to my channel and didn't know that, so I, I'm very fortunate that I have seen Northern Lights several times. Uh, I live in Northern Finland. Well, I'm from Northern Finland. I study illustration in the UK, in Wales. Uh, there's also Northern Lights in Wales <laughs> and in Scotland and North, North England, but I haven't seen them there yet. That that often, but quite many times here in North Finland. So here we have our first step finished. Next thing I will do, I will take the watercolors. It's good that you are quite fast in this next uh, step because you don't want to paper to dry too much. So um, here where I live, um, the northern lights are usually green, so I will make green and uh, purple northern lights. I just start by adding the different colors here to the paper. So here we have some blue night sky and it's going to spread nicely because the paper is quite wet now. So this is like Prussian blue. I love Prussian blue. <laughs> it's a wonderful color. Oops. Some dirt there. Then I will Add some Viridian green, that is my Northern Light green traditionally. We'll put that here. So uh, when watercolor dries it's going to be much much lighter. So be aware that you might need to add several layers of the color here. Then I will mix some some colors together. So here we have a mixture of Viridian green and Prussian blue. More thick, thicker layers here. Then some red. Small purple red now, quite dark. You can go pretty wild with this because Northern Lights or Road they are quite abstract. Abstract light phenomenons. Some green there. This is quite nice, you can see the light there. I will leave that part there. It's pretty nice. Perfect, so now we let just let it dry a bit, then we'll do a second layer if if it doesn't look alright. Uh -huh. I don't think it's really there yet, so I'm going to add some more purple. Just mix some blue, red and a hinge of black so we get a nice dark purple. And I will use lots of water again. But 
chest for this area. So I have now dark blue water in the jar, so it's alright. Then the red. Not too much. Use my sponge. This one is really good for making <laughs> How do you call them? <sighs> Northern light lights patterns. Mm, pattern is a great word. Just need to lots of color to this one. Make it work right. Oh, it's more like it. Add some yellow, yellow watercolor to the sponge. To create this nice, more deeper green. Starts to look pretty good. Now let's just let it dry a bit. For the next part, you will need a used toothbrush and some white acrylics. So I have my palette here and my white acrylics here. So I just do like this. <laughs> then you will need a stick. I have a stick right here, or you can use. I used a uh, paintbrush as well, so this is what you start doing, make some snowflakes or galaxies here and the more bigger snowflakes you want, add some more water. That's more like it. This technique is very handy if you mix um, 
that's a winter landscape or if you just want to make uh, Christmas cards that you want to decorate yourself if you don't think you are much of a painter it's really nice and easy technique to do for a beginner and for those who have painted for a longer time as well since I cannot stop now that I started oh I really wish we get lots of snow next year I fucking hate global warming it's been like a less and less snow every year it's really damaging Finnish nature and the animals bears woke up way too earlier and porcupines sorry for the ramble I'm very sensitive about this topic I was done here next thing I'm going to do is to paint some trees to my landscape some long pine trees perhaps mm. and for that I use black acrylics and some blue acrylics mixed together I will make a big pine tree here I really don't want to waste color here paper is quite wet so it's good to have some thick acrylics now here comes my tree oh I, I don't know if it's a spruce tree or a pine tree now well I think it's a spruce tree now it's a long spruce tree <laughs> there we go Let's make another one. A bit smaller now. There it is. A really big one here. This those Lapland spruce trees. I don't know what's the word. They are not that thick. <laughs> oh. Makes me want to go to the cabin. one more. <laughs> oh, that's better. More nicer to the eye. I think I want to make one that is really, really soon, maybe after a few hundred years, passing away to a fire food. food. Fourteen. Hmm. No, one more. This one is shy. He doesn't want to come to the picture. <laughs> All right. I think we are done here. So I hope this inspired you to create your own northern lights if you do please uh, send me pictures from your creations i might do another tutorial with northern lights i really love love to paint them 
they are pretty awesome. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you have a great time wherever you are in the world. It's um, hmm, I think it's about 10 in the evening here in Finland. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.